vamos a seguir con y no quedó ninguno de Agatha Christie cargar partida aceptar no formáis todas partes de mi equipo ¿Cree que Marston se suicidó? Yes. In my experience, certain types of individuals, when faced with their sin, will then commit the greater one. Did you know Marston before he arrived here today? No. What do you think that record means? There is something very peculiar about it. Good evening to you, Miss Brent. Do you think Marston committed suicide? I shouldn't have said Mr. Marston was a suicidal type of gentleman at all. Did you know Marston before he arrived here today? Never clapped eyes on him. And who gave you the authority to question us? You're under no obligation to answer me. What do you think that record means? I don't like it. Not one bit. Very queer, the whole situation. Good evening, Mr. Bloor. Queer. Very queer, toda la situación, eh? Toda... No podemos acceder al cadáver, pero supongo que es absolutamente pretendido. Uno de estos marineros... Diez marineros y llueve que te llueve. Uno se asfixió y quedaron nueve. Venga, va. Suma y sigue. ¿Es que Marston se ha suicidado? ¿Crees que Marston cometió un suicidio? No se parecía particularmente remorseful. Por supuesto, el récord podría haber set him off somehow. Un nuevo incidente long after the fact may crear un strong feeling de guilt o fear. ¿Wouldn't you say, doctor? Possible. Quite possible. ¿Did you know Marston before he arrived here today? Heard of him, but we'd never crossed paths or swords. Okay. What do you think that record means? There is something wrong with this entire weekend, and especially with our host, Mr. Owen. I believe we're all coming around to that conclusion. Yes, but I know something you don't, Judge. What is that? I recognize the voice on that recording, and it was definitely not Mr. Owen. Who was it? Not so fast, Narakot. Not until I think things through a bit more. That'll be all, Mr. Lombard. <laughs> I don't think he's in the mood for conversation. Como siempre pasa en este tipo de de historias. Parece usted una joven de lo más perspicaz, señorita Claythorne. You're a remarkably perceptive girl, Miss Claythorne. Why, thank you, Mr. Narakot. Is there anything you can tell me about our fellow castaways? Castaways? You make it sound so. Romantic? I was going to say dramatic. Let me see. No one has confided any secrets to me, I'm afraid. Oh, except one. That is? I really don't know you well enough to answer you. Como? Como? Do you think Marston committed suicide? You'd never think he would kill himself. He was so alive. When he came down that hill in his car, he looked... He looked... Oh, I can't explain. Did you know Marston before he arrived here today? No. He... I I'm sure I would have remembered. Steady, Miss Claythorne. The lad had his faults, you know. Bueno, bueno, tampoco, tampoco te, tampoco te pongas así, eh? What do you think that record means? It was unfair, what it said. Very unfair. A good evening to you, Miss Claythorne. Stay safe. A ver, señor. A ver, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Vale. Do you think it was suicide? How dare you! My wife died of natural causes, sir. A long illness, nothing more. I meant Marston. Marston? No other in him that I could see. Did you know Marston before he arrived here today? No, I don't think so. Not a military man, I'd wager. 
Lombard now. He reminds me of someone from my command. But the name wasn't Lombard. What do you think that record means? Ugly. After 30 years. Ugly thing to say. Good evening, General. Where have you been, Rogers? I went to check on my wife, sir. She is resting comfortably. But I'm afraid I have some distressing news. Oh? One of the China figures of a sailor boy has been broken off. What? Chapter 2. Nine little sailor boys sat up very late. One overslept himself, and then there were eight. Filthy night. I tried to go out to get some more wood for the fire, but the wind drove me back. A storm like that will keep us all indoors. My apologies for the accommodations, Mr. Narricot, but all the beds are taken. Makes one wonder where the Owens were planning to sleep, doesn't it? A good servant follows instructions, sir. He does not question his employer. Unless you'd like to share the deceased's room with the corpse, this will do fine. Thank you, Robert. <laughs> I wish you a good night, then, sir. Everyone should be sound asleep by now. Good time for a little stealth work. No, pero tienes razón, eh. Quiero decir, dónde dónde iban a dormir, dónde iban a dormir los los Owen. No ha cambiado esto, ¿verdad? Esto podemos usar la linterna ahora. I won't do that. No. Ah, un momentito que tengo que limpiar. Me pica un ojo. Vale, salida aún no podemos salir, supongo, porque... Po, po, po. No, no podemos salir porque... Po, po, po. Vale. Que está lloviendo a mares. Esto es el vaso. I can't see anything of interest. They don't get along. Eso es el vaso contaminado, ¿no? I need to have my wits about me. I shouldn't do that. I need to have my wits about me. I don't need to lug this around with me. Oh, son las válvulas. Ah, bueno, mira, perfecto. Perhaps another time. Porque no hay válvulas o qué. I don't think that's appropriate. This is neither the time nor the place. Okay, entonces ahora, ahora sí podríamos, sí que podríamos dar de, dar de vidilla a la radio. Pero no sé si toca hacerlo. Quiero decir. Sí, ahora tiene todas las válvulas. Need something to improve the reception. ¿Qué puede ser? I won't do that. That isn't such a good idea. Una antena, ¿no? I don't think that's appropriate. That isn't going to help. I won't do that. Vale, de momento antena no tenemos, pero así lo dejamos. Debería llevarme. Bueno, no, no creo que haga falta, ¿verdad? No creo que desaparezcan los las válvulas si las dejamos ahí. It won't help my brother if I'm drowned in the storm. 
Vale, va a ser todo dentro de la casa. A place for everything and everything in its place. Qué maravilla. Uno menos. Nine little sailor boys. No, supongo que ya habrán, supongo que el resto de invitados está haciendo está haciendo bien la cuenta, ¿no? Es decir, si todos ten, tienen en cuenta el, la canción y, y quedan nueve, me refiero. Y, y vamos contando. It's a sturdy cast iron stove. To go out in that storm now would be reckless and foolhardy. No need to call unnecessary attention to my snooping. Vale, de todas formas aquí. Copper pots, just as I'd expect. Aquí no, no creo que aquí tendríamos que ir directamente arriba, verdad? Tendríamos que ir directamente a presenciar algún algún evento. Ah, perfecto. Whoever it is, please leave us. My wife needs her rest. Sorry about that, Rogers. Not at all. These are very expensive linens. I bet they're very strong. Vale, he cogido, me he cogido unas, unas sábanas. I see nothing remarkable. A lo mejor es para hacer algo para salir de la casa, ¿eh? ¿Me he equivocado? A lo mejor lo suyo aquí es ver lo que está haciendo. It's tightly locked. Es ver lo que está pasando en cada habitación, ¿verdad? Locked. Esta es la cama del cadáver, ¿no? The body was thoroughly searched. No need to disturb it now. Ah, tiene sentido. Tiene sentido que va a ser a través de esta habitación donde podamos ver lo que pasa en las otras I see nothing remarkable Vale Qué miedo por otra parte de dormir sabiendo que en la habitación de al lado tienes un cadáver ¿Qué, ¿Qué significa eso? Vale, pero aquí no hay nada que coger y tampoco nos da acceso a... Tampoco nos da acceso a... A balcón. Veamos. Buenas dos, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo estamos? Vale. I'm guessing Ethel went through the trouble of supplying most of the rooms with fresh flowers. ¿Qué 
este juego es... Y no quedó ninguno de Agatha Christie. Una aventura gráfica. A hawk with a fish in its talons. The bird theme is starting to get to me. ¿La luz está encendida o...? I guess Owen made sure no clocks in the house are working. This one is stopped. Vale. Esto es... Tile and marble. Quite expensive from the look of it. Sí, sí, no, esto es una... Estos son, estos son lujos. This clock is stopped. <coughs> Polished marble spheres and some books. Nothing worth investigating further. Vale, no, no, no estamos, no estoy viendo nada en particular. He's as tight as an owl. I expect nothing could wake him up. Morning is coming. I'd best get back to my bed. Well, I didn't get much rest, but at least I have something to show for it. I'd best see if everyone has come down for breakfast. Vale. Recordemos esto, eh. Nueve marineritos trasnocharon mucho. Uno no despertó y quedaron ocho. Vamos a ver quién no ha despertado. Es posible que el doctor, ¿eh? If what Narakot told Vera is true, and mind you, I take anything he says with a grain of salt. Then they will not be sending a boat until at least Monday, even if the storm clears. Wise to remember, Narakot's the odd man out here. Yes, thanks to you, I believe, Blore. At least nothing else has occurred. Hay otro marinero roto. Correct, Miss Claythorne. However, I feel compelled to draw your attention to this table's centerpiece. Now two are broken. How odd. Ah, Mr. Narakot, good morning. Since Mr. Marsden won't be joining us, there is an extra place for breakfast, although breakfast itself seems to be a trifle behind schedule. I'm afraid there is no breakfast at present. Mrs. Rogers has um, not been able to carry on this. Ah, it's the Señora Rogers. Fresh apple juice this morning. I must tell you a sad piece of news. Mrs. Rogers died in her sleep. Qué duro. Qué tocho. Ha oído algo durante la noche. No, my sleep was quite restful. 
Any theories about Mrs. Rogers' death? She was a very skittish creature, and she had a shock last night. It might have been heart failure. Her heart certainly failed to beat. What caused it to fail is the question. Much obliged for your assistance, Miss Claythorne. Este que, que le caemos genial a este tío. Igual, igual de genial que nos cae a nosotros. You said you knew something about the history of this island. Most of the old stuff can be found in the library. Its more recent history is just as interesting, though. But I'm not inclined to divulge that just yet. You're a detective, Mr. Bloor. Any theories? I appreciate you recognizing the fact there's a professional present. I'd like to know what she had to eat or drink last night before she collapsed. Rogers assures me she had nothing whatsoever. Of course he would say that. But see here. They've done a murder and gotten away with it. Now she's all hysterical, likely to give the show away. He's a danger to her husband. That's what she is. Oh, I should hardly think a man would do that to his wife. That'll do, Mr. Bloor. Qué rápido, qué rápido asaltaba a, a, a confirmar, a, a des, desmentir la teoría del marido matando a la mujer. ¿Tienes algo, ¿Tienes algo que decir? Did you hear anything in the night? I thought... I thought I heard a voice calling my name. My wife... She died several years ago. I expect it was a dream. General, you said you thought you recognized Lombard. Did I? Yes, I expect I did. But I failed to see what business it might be of yours. Any theories about Mrs. Rogers' death? I'm sure Mrs. Rogers wasn't to blame. A good, loyal woman. Thank you, General. Stay well. O sea, este mató al amante de la mujer. La mujer se quitó la vida. Any theories about Mrs. Rogers' death? Conscience. What do you mean by that? She was accused, together with her husband, of having deliberately murdered her former employer, an old lady. You all saw her last night. She broke down completely. The shock of her wickedness brought home to her was too much to bear. She literally died of fear. Possibly, if there was cardiac weakness. Call it, if you prefer, an act of God. I won't take up any more of your time, Miss Brent. Qué mal me caen este tipo de personas, los, los fanáticos religiosos. Ojalá sea la siguiente y que sea horrible. Ah, no, estaba a morir de una picadura de, de abejas, sí. ¿eh? Porque sabíamos que en, en la... En el poema, uno de los marineros muere de, de una picadura de abeja y ella tiene una condición al respecto. Tarjeta de alerta médica significa que mi paciente, la señorita Emily Caroline Brent, sufre una fortísima alergia a las picaduras de insectos, en especial abejas y avispas. Ya ha conseguido un suministro de epi, epinefrina. Si le pican hay que inyectarle inmediatamente la dosis indicada en la etiqueta y solicitar asistencia médica con prestreza. Sabemos cómo va a morir y está bastante bien pensado, la verdad. Dijo que reconoció la voz de Owen. You recognized Owen's voice. I've had time to think it over and I'm sure I did. But I see no reason to share that information with you. Did you hear anything in the night? I'm a very light sleeper. In future, I hope everyone will bear that in mind. Yes, several times I heard something. You didn't investigate? With a judge, a detective, and an amateur sleuth in the house, you hardly need my poor skills in that line. I prefer to keep watch. The hunter in his blind? A good analogy, judge. Any theories about Mrs. Rogers' death? We know that she consumed something last night. Dr. Armstrong told us so. Ah! Mr. Lombard? You gave her a sedative. A small dose of trial, nothing more. Doctors have made mistakes before. You're suggesting I accidentally gave Mrs. Rogers an overdose? Accidentally or otherwise. One death may have been an accident or suicide, but two in the space of a few hours? Simply outrageous, man of my standing. Any more questions, Mr. Narakot? Thanks for your time, Mr. Lombard. 
Es una acusación grave, ¿eh, doctor? Yo no digo nada. No digo nada. ¿A qué aludía al hablar de la política de Marx? concerning Marx's politics? Only that he'd become mixed up with some foreigners. I think that's all I'd better say at present. Did you hear anything in the night? I confess I slept fitfully. Marsden's death, the storm, but I heard nothing. Possibly also due to the storm. Understandable, Judge. Quite understandable. Mr. Narricott, can your boat be repaired? I doubt very seriously it can be repaired. Mr. Bloor did a good job. Steady on. I didn't know then how the land lay, did I? So you say. If you find a means of leaving the island or of signaling the mainland, I'm sure we would all be in your debt. And I'm sure all of us would help in any way we could. Here, here. We're never going to leave the island. None of us are ever going to leave. Any theories about Mrs. Rogers' death, Judge? I'm afraid it confirms my opinion that there is something very wrong on this island. It occurs to me that if these two deaths were not suicides or accidents, that Mr. Owen may very well be responsible. If so, he is almost certainly on this island somewhere. I agree. I think we should find a way off this island immediately. Good day to you, Judge. Mmm, maravilla. Sailor boys. The plot thickens. Pues sí, la verdad es que sí. Me teniendo en cuenta que son todos unos cabrones. No me igual todo esto. Había oído algo durante la noche, lo dudo mucho yo porque llevaba una taja increíble. Did you hear in the no, although it appears I should have. What was the cause of death? Impossible to say offhand. There must be an autopsy. I certainly couldn't give a certificate without one. Mm. Puedo decir cuando murió más o menos. When she died? Without an autopsy, not for certain, but it must have been some hours ago. The body was uh, quite cold. Tenemos que hablar con Roger. Está en la cocina. Rogers roused me at first light. He'd gotten up to light the stove and see to the power generator before waking her. When she didn't respond, he got me. Good day to you, Doctor. Chapter 3. Eight little sailor boys traveling in Devon. One said he'd stay there, and then there were seven. Rogers didn't let his wife's death get in the way of his custodial duties. I assume everyone has gone off on their own pursuits. I should do the same. Now, the story with respect to that topic is that... Es que si mientras no se puede hacer algo al respecto, que a lo mejor casi es mejor incluso no pensar, ¿no? Oh, han parado de llover. Podemos salir fuera. Qué maravilla. Es decir, dudo mucho que, que Roger sea, sea culpable de, de la muerte de su mujer. Lo dudo Hello, muchísimo. Rogers. Hello, sir. Was there anything you required? Just looking around. That ham looks good. Mrs. Rogers had a way with hams. Baked. Boiled, fried, pickled, en casserole, always a treat. ¿Te imaginas para cuándo está la lista de cena? Obviando totalmente el sufrimiento y el dolor. Have you noticed anything out of the ordinary since you arrived here, Rogers? Just this, sir. This house is more like a museum than a residence. I've dusted every square inch, and I found articles left behind by many previous owners including the Robsons, that actress, and even the Admiralty. The only owners who seem to have left no mark at all are Mr. and Mrs. Owen. Okay. When will dinner be ready? Eight o'clock, sir, or close to it. Very kind of you to give me your time, Mr. Rogers. Vale. ¿Podremos salir ahora? Aunque a lo mejor me interesaría seguir mirando cosas dentro de la casa. Rápidamente dar un paseo rápido a ver qué está haciendo la gente. There's nothing I can do for the victim now. Vale. Vale, nada, nada. 
Vamos al baño a ver si hay algo rápidamente. Estoy obsesionado con que aquí en algún momento nos tenemos que encontrar algo. A lo mejor... This is neither the time nor the place. No, el vaso de Marston lo, lo usaremos seguramente para, para ver qué tipo de veneno había, ¿no? Vamos a ver en las habitaciones. Quedamos por aquí. Better to let the dead rest in peace. Esto... Podemos acceder aquí, pero no podemos hacer nada, ¿eh? I see nothing remarkable. ¿Qué pasa, Ifir? ¿Cómo estamos? Es A ver cómo van estas aventuras gráficas. que están todos abajo. This is quite a makeup supply. Emily must be more concerned with aging than she lets on. Para que parece que no podemos definitivamente no podemos no podemos mirar nada, ¿verdad? No parece que en las habitaciones esté ocurriendo nada. Tenemos que bajar abajo, en las habitaciones no hay nada. ¿Verdad? This is a fairly sparse makeup case. Vera isn't the type to use much makeup though. A ir abajo porque aquí me da la impresión de que no vamos a encontrar nada. En las habitaciones no está pasando nada ahora. Está pasando todo abajo y seguramente todo fuera de la casa. Vamos al salón. I asked Rogers what this Miss Brady had suffered from. In a certain form of cardiac trouble, when an attack comes on, an ampule of amyl nitrate is broken and inhaled. If amyl nitrate were withheld... I see. No positive action must be taken. No arsenic to obtain and administer. Nothing definite at all. And nothing could be proved against Rogers or his wife. It explains our situation here quite neatly. There are crimes that cannot be brought home to their perpetrators by the usual methods. A judge taking advantage of his position? No offense, judge. A doctor under the influence letting a scalpel slip? No offense, doctor. The point is, it explains Mr. Unknown. He has, for reasons only he knows, decided to seek justice for certain crimes as he sees them. And who among us is the only one that stands unaccused? Bueno, bueno. Uh, Mr. Naricot, right on cue. Tranquilitos, eh. Tranquilitos que os veo venir, eh. Alguatos. Have you seen any of the others? Before we came in here, I saw Miss Brent knitting on the patio as if she hadn't a care in the world. How much trianol is missing from your supply? I wouldn't know. I left the bottle with Rogers in case his wife required a second draft. Could you perform an autopsy on Mrs. Rogers? I could, sir, but I won't. 
As Mr. Lombard so helpfully pointed out, it might be thought I had something to do with her death. It would be unethical for me to operate. That is all for now, Dr. Armstrong. Okay. Have you seen any of the others? I believe Mr. Bloor and Mr. Lombard are off searching the island for Mr. Owen. Any idea how we can get off the island? I've allowed you to continue your own investigations, Mr. Narricott, because I disagree that being the odd man out makes you more suspect. On the contrary. But I've given you a good deal of advice already. It would be well if you thought for yourself for a while and let us get on with our game. You didn't want to join them? They are men accustomed to physical activity. I prefer to search for the truth with my mind. Uh -huh. Me too. You think they'll find Mr. Owen? Not in the sense you mean. Where would you search for Mr. Owen? Closer to home. Good day to you, Judge. Vale, a ver qué encontramos por aquí. Vale, aquí no vamos a encontrar a nadie. Aún no vamos a salir de la casa. Aún no vamos a salir de la casa. Quiero mirar a ver aquí qué encontramos. Si hay alguien. Vale, pues vamos a salir de la casa por la parte de atrás, por la parte de la cocina. Yo sigo con la idea, con la absurda idea de que tenemos que hacer, de que tenemos que hacer vino. Por la prensa de, la prensa de fruta que, bueno, la prensa de, de jugos que tenemos ahí. Listo, ¿no? It's a press. Looks like it can hold quite a large amount of fruit. Perfecto. A ver qué tenemos por aquí. Vale. ¿Podemos ir por aquí o por ahí? Ok. Oh, una manguera. Manguera. Para mí. Me la quedo. Tú preguntarás, ¿dónde llevas todo, todo ese inventario? ¿Dónde te cabe todo eso? Y yo te, te responderé. No lo sé. Magia. Tengo el bolso de, de María Poppins. Tengo el bolso de María Poppins. María Poppins. Vamos a ir por aquí a ver qué encontramos. ¿Qué hice la CIR? Madre de Dios. Uy, aquí hay un cable. Aquí llega electricidad, eh. Aquí hay... Aquí se hacen cosas. Una pala para enterrar gente. Quiero decir, una pala para enterrar gente. I can't walk around carrying an axe. They'll lock me up. Or worse. No, a ver, también te digo que, lo que todo lo que llevas. This could use a closer look. Promesas vacías. Te atormentan los recuerdos sombríos. La fórmula de los pensamientos agradables se encuentra te, ante todo lo que está en ruinas. UN Owen.
Qué puta maravilla. Qué puta maravilla que puedas cargar tantas cosas. Generator seems to be working fine. Sí, el generador está funcionando bien. Generator seems to be working fine. Generator seems to be working fine. Supongo que no habrá que tocar nada aún, pero llegará un momento en el que esto dejará de funcionar. Vale, ok. I can't walk around carrying an axe. They'll lock me up, or worse. Vale. Vamos a ver qué tenemos por aquí. El generador es lo que le da, lo, lo que le da energía a la casa, entonces. No voy a decir que esto es un laberinto porque no lo es, pero sí que, sí que es fácil dejarse sitios, ¿eh? Perfecto. Vale, pues la parte del, del patio ya la hemos visto. Ya nos dispondríamos. Nos dispondríamos a salir por la parte delantera, ¿verdad? Pero eso será después de grabar.